everyone, so today I'm going to be doing my April favorites video, and I originally wasn't going to do a favorites video for this month because I really don't have many makeup items to show you that I've really, really been loving this month. I've used basically most of the same stuff throughout the whole month, and nothing has really popped out at me that I wanted to include in a favorites video except a few things that I am going to show you. So, a few things that I'm going to show you are makeup, but the rest is kind of random, a few, you know, beauty related products, a few really random products, so now let's get into the video. And also, I wanted to do a favorites video because I said in my December favorites video that I wanted to make as many favorites videos as I can this year, and so I was going to skip this month, and I was like, no, got to make a favorites video because I love watching people's favorites videos, and if you make a favorites video for this month, then please post it as a video response. So long intro out of the way. I don't really like long intros. Usually for my favorites videos, I'm just like, hey, I'm doing my favorites video. My first product, but <laughs> today I decided to go with the long intro. So the first thing that I want to talk about is the May Couture blotting sheets. And these say that they are blemish control blotting papers. And there's a hundred sheets in this little book. So it's a gold book. And then there are all these blue sheets. And I got this in a My Glam bag a couple months back. And when I first got this, I didn't really see a use for it because I don't really have oily skin. But that was in the winter time. And so my skin was really dry and I was like, I don't need this. But now that it's springtime and it's getting warmer, my skin is getting a little oily. I just get a little oily right here along my cheeks and around my nose. And so these I've just been using um, not every day, but sometimes when... I feel like my skin is looking a little too shiny for me, then I'll just rip one of these out and blot my face a bit. And because these are made with salicylic acid, as it says, it won't break you out and it hasn't broken me out. This won't harm your face. This won't cause there to be any more acne on your face than there already is. This will probably actually help clear up your face a little bit if you do use it on a regular basis. But I don't actually know where to get these since I've never heard of the brand before. Make tour. I just got it in a My Glam bag, so I don't really know much about the company, but I know that I really like these blotting papers, and they'll be useful in the summer, too. And then, the next thing that I have to show you is an eyeliner, and this is a Wet n Wild Icon Eyeliner, and this is in the color white, so this is just a white pencil liner, looks like this. And I've been loving putting this in my inner corner. I'm wearing it today just to brighten up my eyes a little bit. And I don't even need to really blend this out because I just put it on and then go and it's fine. And these Wind Wild Color Icon Eyeliners are only 99 cents. And I think that they work so well. They're pigmented and they stay on my eyes whether I put it on my inner corner or on my waterline. This just stays on and I'll go ahead and do a swatch for you. And they have a bunch of other colors as well. But here is a swatch. And aside from putting this in my inner corners, I also like to sometimes put this on my waterline. Because putting white eyeliner on your waterline makes your eyes look bigger and makes you look more awake. As well as putting it in your inner corners. My next favorite is one of the e.l.f. Studio Blushes. And this is in the color Fuchsia Fusion. And it's this hot pink shimmery color as you can see it sparkles when the light hits it and it lasts pretty much throughout the day because I have a real problem with powder blushes staying on my cheeks throughout the day in school because I'm always like this in class all the time touching my cheeks and my face so it just wipes off throughout the day and since this is really really bright and pigmented it kind of stays on my cheeks a little longer I feel like so I'll go ahead and do a swatch for you it's just very 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 very, 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 very pigmented. So here is a swatch of that. And so I really like the e.l.f. blushes. So that is actually all the makeup that I have this month for this favorites video. Sorry that there's not that much, but I do have more favorites to show you, so yay! So the next favorite is a nail polish. This is a Nicole by OPI nail polish, and this is actually my only OP OPI nail polish. I don't have any others, and this is my first OPI nail polish purchase. I got this at Target um, not too long ago, 
and I love it. This is also my first glitter polish, and I've only ever bought nail polishes that have cream finishes before this, but I really wanted to try out a glitter nail polish, and I've heard so much about OPI from YouTube, of course. I also painted the tips of my nails, actually just today with it, so it looks like this, and so the color, I didn't even say the color of it yet, Anyways, where's my head today? Oh, no. But the color of this is Nicole's Nickel. And it's this black and steel gray color. And it's a glitter polish, as I said. And this is a super opaque polish. You only need one coat over your nails and then you're done. And Ugh, I love this polish so much. It's really amazing. I love the formulation. So I love how this applies and it dries pretty fast as well. So loving this polish. And then the next favorite that I have is a hair care product. And this is the Pantene Medium to Thick Hair Solutions Detangler. And it's a spray bottle. It has this massive cap on it. But, okay, I've been using this so much this month because whenever I have second day hair and I get home from school, I always put my hair up in a bun and then usually I take a nap and I wake up and I have to go shower. But before I get in the shower, I take my hair out of the bun and then I brush through my hair and usually my hair is very, very tangled and knotty after I take it out of the bun because my hair is very curly and wavy naturally. So, I spray this all throughout my hair and I pretty much give it like 20 sprays all around my head because you can be very generous when using this with the amount of product that you put in your hair because the more the better and the more product that you put in your hair with this then the easier your knots will come out and this is like magic okay I spray this all throughout my hair and then it doesn't take me more than 10 minutes to brush out my hair even if I have a huge knot you just spray this on the knot a couple times, well, more than a couple times, probably like 10 times at least, and then you can brush it out so easily. And then I can actually comb through my hair without getting the comb stuck and being like that on a knot. You all have that happen to you, I'm sure, if you have long hair. So this says that it's micro conditioner, silicones, and separate strands to help prevent breakage. Your hair feels moisturized, and I love it. Love it. That's why it's in my favorites video. I love everything that I've been in my favorites video, so probably don't need to say that I love it after every single thing that I talk about, but probably going to say it anyways just to reiterate my overall opinion of what I just talked about. Moving on to my next favorite, which is this Paris Amour. This is a fragrance mist, and it says this is from the Signature Collection at Bath & Body Works. Ooh, fancy. And I think that the bottle is really cute. It just has this little bow and then an Eiffel Tower on the back and I got this for my birthday last month and it smells really really good let me smell it real quick it smells like springtime to me it's just very light and airy and floral of course because I love sorry the cap wasn't on tight I love my floral perfumes and I've been wearing this a lot lately and then I think that is all of my beauty favorites. So now on to my random favorites. So my first random favorite of this month is Fruit Loops. And these are the Super Looper Fruit Loops. So they have little red eights all throughout the other pieces of cereal. And this is Kellogg's, of course. And I haven't eaten Fruit Loops in so long. My mom usually gets Special K, and I was getting sick of the Special K cereal. I really liked the vanilla flavor for a really long time, then I just got tired of it. For some reason, when my dad asked me what I wanted from the grocery store last week, Fruit Loops popped into my mind. I have no idea why, because I haven't eaten Fruit Loops in so long. But he got this, and, well, this isn't the box that he got, because I've gone through two boxes within less than a week with just me eating it. Nobody else in my family eats it. And I literally eat it for breakfast and dinner, and I snack on it, I eat it with milk, I eat it just out of the box. I'm obsessed with Fruit Loops. They're amazing, and you should get them. Yeah. And then I have, sticking with food, but this is a beverage. This is amazing. This is the Sobe, um, I don't think it's water, I think it's juice. Everyone says it's water, but it doesn't taste like water to me. This is a Sobe Smooth flavored beverage, it says, and this is 
the flavor Strawberry Daiquiri. So this is what the bottle looks like, and it's not glass. It may look like it's glass on camera, but it's not. And this says that it's only 250 calories per bottle, and that's not why I like it. I don't really count calories, but I love it for the flavor. This tastes so good. And this is a good alternative to soda for me because I drink soda every day. And so and now that we have this in the house, I'm drinking this a lot more. And then, I don't have any other tangible random favorites to show you. And then my last random favorite is One Direction. Just, I've mentioned them in favorites video before, but I have to mention them again because I became more obsessed with them this month. They are getting just bigger and more popular with every day. And I've just been watching so many of their interviews this month. And a link, their French interview that they did, oh my god, is my favorite interview of them ever. I'll put it down there so you guys can see it. It's so funny. They do a synchronized dance. They wrap the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air's theme song, and I just love them all. And my favorites are Harry, Liam, and Louie, and then I also like Niall and Zane, but those are my three favorites of them, if you were wondering. And a song that I've um, had on repeat all month long from them is Up All Night, and also I love One Thing by them, so link those songs down below. And that is all for my April favorites, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Okay, bye!